It was all about cuts today for the Quinnipiac men's basketball team as they used it to take down the Fairfield Stags by a final score of 72-66 to 66 inside the People's United Center. Now, while most fans appreciate the high shooting threes and the flashiness in terms of dribbling and passing, it was all about the old school fundamentals for Quinnipiac today. Let's take a look at how it happened. So what exactly is a backdoor cut? Well, it's as simple as this. Boom, boom, easy layup at the basket. But how did he get there? It's all about footwork. You see, Brendan McGuire takes a nice right-left step and gets an easy basket at the rim, faking out his defender. But most of the time, Quinnipiac takes more than one cut to be able to get their open looks. Here's a play from the second half. Kevin Marfo, we know how good of a passer he is as a big man. Belonk, there's the first cut. That's not open, so Marfo's going to take his time, go to the low post. Look at Belonk. The ankle-breaking backdoor cut. Can you believe it? It's not always drill moves that can do that, folks. Good little cut from Belonk, but sometimes Quinnipiac's not even looking to score off the backdoor cut. Just for floor spacing. Desi Jones cuts, Tyrese Williams cuts. They're not open, so J.J. Reagan says, you know what, I'm going to take it myself. He might have traveled a little bit, but the officials didn't see it, so basket counts. Another play from the second half from Marfa. Ragoni cutting, not open. Belonk's going to cut right here. Boom. But he's not open, so Kevin Marfo says, you know what, I'm going to take him myself. This was just two of 46 points in the paint on the day for Quinnipiac. We'll see how many more points they could get down there coming up in their next matchup at home Wednesday night at 7 against Ryder.